Hello, fellow future corpses. I am Will Botch, and that's Randy hanging out back there. And this is Luna Kid. Luna Sid. Luna Sid. Lu Lunas. Luna. Luma. Luna. Lu. Ne. Si. De. Luna Sid. <laughs> it's all right. I probably mispronounced it anyway, right? All right. What is this? Luna Sid. 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 Sid is a first-person dungeon crawler inspired by old from soft games like Shadow Tower and Kingsfield. Now, I've never played Shadow Tower, and I have no idea what Shadow Tower is, but I know a thing or two about Kingsfield. Because I played the shit out of number two when I was a kid. I loved it. Even before I understood what was really going on, I just kind of ran around swing swung swords and cast spells and stuff. But then, uh... It was weird because the more I played it, like, over the years I always kept replaying and replaying it. It was always my go-back-to game when I didn't know what else to play, when I beat everything else. But, uh, as I kept playing it, I just remember as I got older, I started realizing there was a story to it. And there was things to it, and I missed out on a lot. <laughs> I remember also as, like, a youngster playing it that, uh, I remember it terrifying me. Like, the skeletons were always really scary to me. And then I remember, uh, you could go on the walls and just keep, like, rubbing your dink, your, rubbing your dick against the walls. And, uh, pressing the action button, and you could find, like, secret doors and stuff. And sometimes there'd be traps, like, spears would fly out, and those would always, like, scare the shit out of me, like, jump scare. So, I remember a lot of good things with it. And I remember playing it as an adult, I went back, uh, I think, like, a... Before COVID, <laughs> well, uh, before 2020, I remember that much. I went back and replayed it and just missed it, missed on so many things. Now that I was an adult and definitely realized more was going on in the game and stuff. So I really want to go back and play it. But I saw this was a uh, influenced or Kingsfield has a touch within this game or whatever. So I had to give it a shot. So I'm using a controller. So we'll see how this goes. I like the collars. I like the purples and the pinks and the VHS tapes. It's really loud. But I also have my headset up. Hi, Moon. It's a fish. A big old fish. Big old fish coming to destroy a town. Bunch of birds. Someone left their baby out there. Did you see that stroller? Someone's a bad parent. Double moon. What does it mean? Sweat. Oh, that's fun. Can't wait to punch that in the face. Of course, I blew my nose 600 times before I started this. Now I'm sniffling. Long ago, a great beast came from the sea and brought with it a poisonous fog that spread across the earth. Corrupting everything it reached, the poison fog slowly transformed the world and brought about a new age. Now, grounded by the poison sky and outnumbered by creatures, humankind became desperate and formed feudal kingdoms. Closed off from each other, they became paranoid and are on the brink of extinction. Oh no! Those deemed undesirable, such as criminals or the ill, are cast out. Banished into the depths of the Great Well. A pit of the diseased and undead, the Great Well is said to have but one door to the surface. Guess where we are? Well stuck in the well again. Send help. Oh, I was like, am I moving? No, I'm not moving. I'm not dead yet, actually. I want to go for a walk. 
Mmm, foggy. Oh no! Hi! Wretched thief! Thinking of stealing your life back? You belong to the death now. Ow! My hand! I'm assuming that's me. Time to get my chainsaw. I'll be back. I'm coming for you, old man. Now loading. Oh, hi! Look! Oh, we have, like, a soundtrack thing on the bottom. Before we start this, I'm gonna blow my nose, because... My body's stupid. Alright, I'm gonna use the mouse for this part, because it'll probably be easier. Input name. What are we gonna call ourselves? Obviously, I will! Hi! Beauty? Oh, I like that one. Some interesting pictures. I want to be the... <laughs> the first thing I thought was like that was a spittoon on the head. Some interesting character art choices. I really like the dead guy. Or custom. Okay, I didn't know that was an option. I don't know how I acquired that. How do I get... Okay. Cool. Alright, well, what's my class? And then we'll choose the picture. We got Thief, a hidden figure from faraway land, cast into the well for th their crimes. They begin with little, but are adept at finding lost treasure. Then we got the Knight, a valiant warrior, steadfast and determined, albent lost without the king. They excel at combat and finding glory in violence. Then we got the Witch, a cunning magic user with a perchant for the dark. They Thrive with the waxing of the moon and feed on their own lunacy. The vampire, a bloodthirsty creature of the night, awakened by hunger, they are replenished by the shedding of blood, but weakened from fire. Is that the damage? Additional damage I take for stuff like that's holy and that's fire. I don't take a lot of death damage. What else do we got? Undead, a discarded corpse, unwanted by the world above, yet resistant and stubborn. I kind of like the idea of... Oh shit, there's... How many classes are there? Royal, a child of noble birth, experienced but well-equipped otherwise. Their lineage foretelling of importance. Cleric, a nurturing healer on the pilgrimage to help those who are lost in the great well. They put others first, for better or worse. Shinobi, a silent deadly shadow sent into the well to assassinate. What the fuck are they going to assassinate? It's a whole bunch of thieves and sick people. They care not for the corpses left behind, only those ahead. The Forsaken, a waste of flesh, notable for nothing. List the dust it leaves behind. They have nothing to lose. Driven forward only by self-loathing. I'm... I don't want to go with the undead, like... The vamp vampire is cool, but I never, not many games give you the, op the opportunity to play an undead. So that's why I want to play. I want to play a dead dude. Uh, is that or the witch? And I'll be this thing. <laughs> Whatever the fuck this thing is. We need a better undead name. Uh... Now nah, we'll stick with the will. I'm bad at coming up with names. All right. Ooh, I love this uh, mouse pointer effect. Okay, let's do this. We are the discard. We're a discarded corpse. That sounds like me. I could have called him Randy. Ah, it was whatever. I'm dead. I wonder how much the effect this has on the story. Like, oh, I spittled. Gross. Rise from your grave. I'm undead. Any secrets? Any secrets back here? No. I, 
Is that the... <laughs> the jump sounds are adorable. How do I punch? Press I to wait. Come back. I don't know what that was telling me. What kind of plants are these? What kind of plants are these? I like them. I. <laughs> just looks like he's laughing. I'm having a lot of fun. Can't boot him. Oh, sweet. Boot. All right, pick you up. All right, whatever. I was wondering if it was like Kingsfield where I could grind my ass against the wall and magically uh, I'd find like a secret or something. Lost Grave. Oh, cool. We have like soundtrack notes. I acquired a replica sword! How do I... I'm looking so cool. I guess... An exceptional, expertly sculpted piece of stone made to resemble steel long swords of the castle guard. Not an elegant weapon by any means, but better than nothing. Weapon XP. Sweet. How do how do how do I go back? Do I have to manually hit return? Okay. Oh. So that's... Swing, swong, swing, 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 swong. Block, block, swing, swong. Oh, things are gonna get fucked up now. How do I use? X is to use. Okay. Fuck it, let's go ahead and save. Swing. I just fucked that flower up. Hell yeah! Take that, yeah! I'll, oh, I can read it, okay. Newest of the Fallen, take up your sword and fight. Alright, look at my sweet undead hands. I'm ready to... Fight the stuff. Seek the slumbering creature of moonlight. They are the last existing door. I'm going to have to get inside them? That doesn't look like a good idea to jump. Oh, okay. Let's go see if we can go blow up those coffins. Is there a run? I think I just turned on the music again. Swing swonk! Can I open this? Oh, hell yeah. All right. Oh, I, got, I can do a charge attack. Bow! 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 <laughs> oh, see? Look, we found something. We found ashes. See, it's worth coming back this way. I don't know what the ashes do, but we got them. There's gotta be a sprint button. Okay, so that's guard, obviously. I like this swing swung mechanic so far. They're pretty fun. Some of the sounds are kind of funny, like actually having like a sound effect for jump. I feel like, a, okay, there was that one way I could take. What's over here? All right, apparently nothing. Okay, I think that's like a sneak or something. We don't need no sneaking, we're undead. Yeah, give me your loot. 
Hell yeah, give me the mashes. They'll never hear me coming. It's someone who's dead. Or not. You're dead. Alright. Uh, there's a lot of death over here. Ooh, a snail! Hey! How you doing, snail? Oh, you're gross. Bye. Can I actually collect things from these plants from screwing them up? Hey, dead person. How you doing? <gasps> snail! How you doing? Oh! Bad snail! Bad snail! Bad snail! No! No! Can I break its shell? That sounds so mean. Aww. Did it go back in its shell so it's, it's still okay? Good. Can I take it with me? Can I befriend it now that I've dominated it? The snail is cute. I want pet snail. Health vial, sweet. Hi. Uh. I got the no rings. I'm not cool. I don't feel comfortable having that. Okay, so apparently I haven't found everything yet. So we need to go find maybe a key or something? I don't think blowing up those is going to help. Read. Oh, I like reading. Temple of Silence. Hollow Basin. Let's go to the Hollow Basin. The Basin. <gasps> hey, Snail. How you doing? Can we be friends? Okay, apparently not. But I, but I get the salt. I'm going to assault you. Where are you going? Oh, you can you attack quick. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's what you get for hurting me. Knock your shell all the way away from you. Now I'm happy you're dead. The other one was at least semi-friendly. Hi. The snail gets you too. I know. They're too damn cute. Bop! Missed. Bop! Try and get my distance right. Where are you going? Hit your butt! Bop! Yeah. Snails are kind of dicks. That was pretty rude. Just trying to be your friend. Now I'm just going to kill you for the XP! Ah, oh, right in the face! Did I cut its head off? Why are you still- Oh, calm down. You'll get your turn too. I'll cut your tentacles off. Your eye stalks. Oh, we're getting good at this. I can kill snails in two hits now. Bop, bop, and I don't even need a guard. I'm undead. Snail, get out of light! It's not safe! <clears throat> Oh, you're beautiful. Hi. You're a beautiful snail. I want to pet you. How do I pet you? Pet. Pet. Okay, bye. You're the most beautiful of snails. Oh, great water. I fucking hate this. I can jump. What was that noise? What the fuck are you? Can we be friends? You like advanced snail? I don't think you're going to be my friend. It's a shockler. A shocker. Oh, I'm going to... Bop you so good. 
You don't got the snail shell. Your butt's defenseless against- Oh shit! Uh-uh! You can fire beams? I didn't see that on the memo. Hi, dead person. I see you discovered a fire beams also. I learned the hard way. What is that noise? Who keeps heh at me? Heh. I'm being scary. <laughs> Ghost light. Sweet. Do I have a sweet ass ring now? Ghost light. Summons a spectral orb of light that follows the caster for 45 seconds. Useful in illuminating the depths of the well. Equipped. Sweet. How do I use... How do I use... Okay. Stop bumpers. As that must mean... Okay. I'm getting it. I'm gonna shock you so hard! I know better than letting you get free. Alright, I gotta find a better way of fighting those. Cause well, I can't like... Oh, I can jump, but... Oh, is that the water? Oh, got it right in the face. Alright, I gotta get better at fighting those. Cause they're kicking my ass. It's mostly I'm concerned about the whole, like, shooting part. Yeah, that's what it is. The water. That sounded like something was, like, hissing at me. Do I have to kill the special snail? I don't want to hurt the special snail. I feel like I gotta kill the special snail. Special snail. You're so cute. I'm sorry. Ow, it, it fucks me up! Apparently I cut its head off. I'm sorry, milk snail! I don't know if you have something I need! You're my last thing! Now I feel awful! Because I didn't need to kill you! Alright, let's reassess my weapons and items. I got nothing extra here. I got nothing extra here. This is me. I didn't find anything exploring here. Did that go through there? No, I didn't. Mushrooms! Shit. Get out of here! Okay. If we just keep aiming for the tentacly face and just keep stabbing it in its tentacle hole, I think we'll be fine. Okay, let's not go down there yet. Let's go over here. Hello? Hello? Oh! A red potion. I could probably jump to dodge, but I just keep forgetting to. 
I keep wanting to find like a sidestep or something. Whoa. I do like the music to this. It does give me a little bit of a Kingsfield field feels to it. Hmm, it's dark. It's getting darker. Sup? Ooh, is that a treasure chest? A flame spear? That sounds metal as fuck. Fire is a flaming javelin, a weaponized form of pyromancy created by a fire witch ash by the fire witch Ashley. Funny that's Ashley for the fire. Right, let's go throw a flame shit at someone. Hi, can we be friends? Are we friends? Can we be friends? Hi. I love your voice. Well, it looks like you're a little lost. This area is called the Hollow Basin. It's the highest reached point of the Great Well. It's also one of the safest areas of the Great Well, except, of course, Wings Rest. Speaking of Wings Rest, can I spirit you there? I can spirit you there if you want. Uh, not right now. Righty. Well, I'm here if you ever need to get there. All right, cool. You're... You don't look like you belong here. You look like you're well equipped to not be here. All right, uh, I should probably do a quick item. I should pro... Cool. How do I use quick items? Uh, no. Up, okay. Okay, so I must scroll through them that way and hit up to use. Gotcha. Let's do some combat. I got the flame spear. If you can, you can, if you can just fly me places, get me the fuck out as well, demon lady. Oh, sweet. We got nine skill points. Awesome. Well, this is pretty cool. Does a because I see like run and speed and stuff like that. Dexterity defines jumping height and damage done with ranged weapons. Speed... Oh, there's literally speed. Speed determines maximum running speed. Crank that shit up. Okay. Defense defines maximum health and how much can be blocked before guard is broken. Strength defines maximum health and damage done with melee weapons. It'd be nice if they let me just highlight it and they told me and instead of me having to click something. Intelligence determines maximum mana, spell damage, and how fast spells charge. And then... Resistance defines how long status effects wear off. Hell yeah, you're not hurting me with anything. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Because I'm a corpse. We'll go ahead and do that. We're just going to completely shrug off dexterity. And we're going to keep with the speed. And we're just going to slowly work on these. Sweet! <laughs> go ahead and save. And pretty much we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I don't know how I'm going to do the episodes, videos, or whatever you want to call them of this. So there might be some where after a while I'll probably just like, got it? And other ones I'll try to get to a save point. So we're going to play it by ear since I don't know, I don't know pacing. Like I don't know how long it's going to take us. I don't know how long between saves. I don't know how long between chapters or any of that stuff. So we're just going to play it by ear, see what happens. So, yeah, so far, I'm liking it. It's been fun. I'm interested. It does sort of have a Kingsfield feel to it. I do like the music that goes along with it. Combat was pretty interesting. Like, it's... I like the feel of it. It wasn't too bad. I haven't used spells yet. The buttons are on the controllers just getting a little bit, because I don't... 
know like what I can truly interact with. So I don't know if I'm missing stuff because I keep hitting like X. And I'm not seeing it do too much besides when a prompt comes up. So I don't know if there's like secrets or if it's just prompts. So we'll figure it out. And the level up, that's pretty cool. I like that there's a little level up thing where I get to customize my character as I go. But we're playing a dead guy, so... But I'm also impatient, so I want something that can... That can go. Something that can move. <laughs> so we might be a... We might be one of those fast zombies you hear about, so... Alright. We'll be back here. We'll pick it up from here next time. Thank you for wasting some time with us, and I will catch you later.